pictures of an actual war, the Vietnam War, when it was in people's living rooms. People got out in the streets and they were protesting and they couldn't believe that was happening. Same thing with the civil rights movement in the 60s. When that was in people's living rooms, the, the visceral at attachment that people had because of that is something that reading about it doesn't do and hearing about it secondhand doesn't even do. How, how do you think about this professionally? I mean, yeah, it's not very funny. I it's know. right. It's a comedy <laughs> show. But of course, you, you're a right. comedy show that sure. also you, you have commentary on, on social right. issues and political issues. How, how do you think about it from that standpoint? Well, I think you have to deal with it day to day and as a comedian and somebody doing my type of show, you deal with all types of things from the reactions to events to what is the truth inside of there that you want to pull out, what is the humanity being expressed that maybe you can make a show about or do bits about. It's not the easiest thing to do and it's a huge challenge especially in times like this. We're actually off this week so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But it's a huge challenge especially like the day of when something like that happens because you know you're in a direct conversation with your audience is communication you know part of what you do we don't necessarily report the news but we are reporting on the events so we can set up the humor and that sort of thing so it's a delicate dance and it's it's not an easy one and I, I've seen it, it seems to me sometimes in these situations a show like yours mm -hmm. or, you know the Daily Show any of these where they end up finding the humor it's obviously right. not in the tragedy itself but of it's course. the political reaction or the media reaction Always. it's what politicians are saying about it how they're sure. handling it when you look at how Trump Clinton Obama mm -hmm. political leaders have handled it so far what do you make of the political reaction to that? well overall I think the tone has been okay but anytime you start blaming the president for this like it's the president's fault when clearly these are things that have been happening for so long and that clearly is someone who wants to get elected and they're scoring political points you know that sort of thing but uh... <laughs> I, mean, I don't take any I hardly take anything a politician says for anything you know I just don't I've never I always take it, not even with a grain of salt, but with a, a pound of salt, anything a politician says. I mean, some, some people have been surprised, and we, we played uh, Trump's speech earlier, that mm -hmm. uh, he actually did include in his line, you know, reference to Minnesota, a reference to Louisiana. Yeah. Some are saying, by Trump standards, by the standards Those he's established comments were very good, I thought. in this campaign, this no. was a different, a different tone for I him. thought they were very measured, and they were very good. I, I, I liked those comments a lot, you know. Uh, and I like the fact that the police chief focused on the mental health issue in all of this. This obviously was a person who was imbalanced. I mean, this, this was like an act of terror and cowardice from somebody. I mean, if he has all that, all that equipment at his house, he's been planning, Steve, to do this for a long time. This wasn't an act of passion of somebody who just saw, you know, something happen and said, oh, I got to go out and do something. You know, this is an evil planned attack. You know, so um, I think our responses should be measured when things like this happen. Okay, Larry Wilmore. Sorry, it's show. hard to be funny on this. No, we, we don't expect you to be in this setting, but uh, and you're off this week, but you'll be back uh, next week. We'll be back shows? next week. Next right. week. Okay, Larry Wilmore. Exactly. Thanks for stopping Thank by. You, Appreciate Thank it. You. And breaking news: we have been following.